at this point, it's how do we give farmers value and help them maximize the opportunity for the seed in the ground? That to me is fundamental because we've got one shot. Somebody said there's only like 25 harvest seasons or 25 growing seasons before 2020, 2050. You know, and when you start to put it into those sorts of terms. Dang, it, that's interesting. And so, you know, the realization that I had when I was at Seedmaster was the complexity of like putting seed in the ground. Let's A, make sure it's the right seed at the right depth at the right time with the right fertilizer and anything else that can come around it. But, you know, there's a number of factors that a farmer can do everything perfectly. And yet at the end of harvest, you know, if she's done everything perfectly and mother nature decides the day before it's combined that we're going to throw some hail in there, like you law, you lose everything. And I've seen where that happens and it's heart wrenching. And so for myself, you know, I'm really excited to be able to, you know, to, to look at where in that supply chain can I make a difference? And, and, and I know on my end that that seeding side is where I get most excited, which is part of the reason that I, that I was super excited to spend, you know, five minutes at Corteva. <laughs> and it was fascinating because they wanted, you know, they, they were very committed to how do we look at a seed? How do we develop a seed that can survive not and again to use the term from earlier not just survive but thrive in conditions that are really tough like no moisture um you're you're planting in you know soil that may or may not have any sort of fertilizer within it and so what is it that that seed needs to be able to 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 be productive and some of the technology that they do it was like it was mind blowing. Like I can't even believe this kind of stuff happens in the world. I mean, it's it's uh, crazy chemistry and crazy engineering and innovation and you know, to your point, all with the seed, all to make sure that the seed has this genetic to be able to thrive in this uh, this specific location in the ground with these weather, with this moisture. With I mean. It's it's fortunate there's some really, really smart, smart, smart people working on this from Stein to Corteva to all of them. And and then because then that all gets into our our systems as consumers yeah. uh, to make it so it still continues to thrive after weeds take over or whatever the case may be. So